In this video, we're going to explore how you can use Legend in Charge.js 3.x. And if you've seen my other videos, you've seen probably videos about how to use Legend in Charge.js 2. However, Charge.js 3 has a different way of doing the Legend. They have replaced it or repositioned its structuring, uh, probably for efficiency and to make it more separate because they're going more modular compared to Charge.js 2. If that's good or bad, it does not really matter. Basically, they make it more efficient and more clever. However, if you're used to the old way, you might get confused. And there are sadly enough, their way of explaining it is also quite confusing. As you can see in here, they have all these options here and you have to run through their legend items here. This is not really the best way to do it. However, don't worry about it. I will show you exactly how we're going to do it in our file. All right, so we have here this, and what we want to do here, for example, is we just want to remove these items here. So how do we do this? So let's go here to our app.js. And in our app.js, we have right now all the items, and we have our grid lines, where we've removed already our grid lines in the scales. And now we have a next item, we won't be in here. So in the scales, we put in a comma, in this curly breast, uh, in this curly bracket, sorry. And then in here, we're going to work on. So what we're going to do here is the following. First, we're going to say it's a plugin because we are working on a plugin. And in this plugin, we have now called a legend. And this legend here, for example, we say display false. All right. So that's how it works now. It's normally it was from options directly to legend, and then you indicate display yes or no or anything you want. In this case, it's now or now has changed from options to plugins, legend, and then the command that you want. All right, so once we refresh, you will pay attention here on the legend, it will disappear, and there you are. So the same is here as well. If you do a position, we can say here, let's say bottom. Just make sure that this is a string. All right, save this, refresh, and now you can see our plugin or our legend has been positioned at the very bottom. As you can see here, they did it exactly here with some fancy buttons. And of course, you can do this as well by updating it. However, this is just a basic, and this is really the way how you can use Legend in Charge.js 3. So this is completely different from Charge.js 2. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about Charge.js, check out in the link below, and you can find my Charge.js course on Udemy. Just click on the link below and you'll be directed to that. And if you have questions about Charge.js 3 or anything about Charge.js, put them in the comment section below.